Hi, I'm Paul Wagner, the software magician for DNAMail.com, and this is how to share contacts in Hosted Exchange. All of the information I'm going to share today is for users who are subscribed to a Hosted Exchange account. While I'm going to be using Paul Wagner and Kira Wagner for demonstration purposes, you'll be using your own account users. Sharing contacts means allowing others, also in your account, to view, modify, and or delete your contacts in their folders. Sharing contacts is handy for executives and assistants, colleagues, spouses, or anyone who needs access to your contacts folder. You can control exactly to what degree you wish to share in the way of permissions. At the simplest level, you may want them to see only your contacts but not be allowed to change or delete them. As you select levels that are more permissive, you can allow other users the ability to add new contacts, modify existing contacts, or even delete contacts and add new folders. Any and all of these combinations are possible for each exchange user in your domain that is subscribed to the standard mail package. By the way, you don't share to yourself. If you want to see your Outlook folders on other machines, simply download your hosted exchange profile onto each computer. There are two methods of sharing, with specific people and with everyone. With specific people, you are going to send them an invitation to allow them to open for viewing only your contacts. Let's demonstrate. I'm going to share my contacts with one other person, my spouse, Kira. Here's all you do. First, click on the Contacts icon in the Navigation pane. Then, click on Share My Contacts folder. That will bring up the sharing email invitation. Click on the To box and select the Global Address list in the drop-down. Next, select the person that you want to share your contacts with by double-clicking on the recipient. That will put the person in the To arrow box down here at the bottom. Click OK. Notice that you are allowing the person to simply view your contacts. Click the Send and confirm your request. You'll be told that the contacts folder has been shared. Now let's see what it looks like at Kira's Outlook. Now you can see that under People's Contacts, Paul Wagner shows up. If I right-click on Paul Wagner and go to the Properties here, you'll also notice that in the Summary, I'll have the permission as Reviewer. That's what Kira was originally assigned. But what if we want to change this? Well, we do that back on Paul Wagner, the person who shared the contacts in the beginning. Thus, if I decide later that I'd like to change Kira's permission to do more than look at my contacts, I can do so by right-clicking on the Contacts folder here and choose Change Sharing Permissions. I click on her name, which brings up her profile as Reviewer. Each level is associated with more or less features. Here's one example. The Kira presently has reviewer permission. She can see my contacts, but that's about all. If I assign her publishing author by dropping down on the sets of permissions here, now you'll notice that publishing author allows her the ability to create items, create subfolders, edit her own items, and delete her own items. Now let's step back and look at this from a completely different point of view. This entire sharing operation can be reversed. That is, the other person can request you to share your contacts. Here's how it works. Back over on Kira's computer, you'll see that she has no contacts of her own, and she would like to request to view my contacts for her usage. So the process, again, to reverse it, is quite straightforward. 
right click on contacts and share contacts you'll notice that it doesn't say share my contacts and that's significant because instead of allowing the recipient to view your contacts folder I'm going to check request permission to view recipients contacts folder and the recipient of course is me I simply click send and the request is completed the last piece of the puzzle of sharing is sharing to everyone this is different because you're basically allowing anyone who is or becomes a subscriber to the hosted exchange in your domain access to your contacts so before sharing to everyone you should first decide how much control you want to give others over your information the process conceptually is plain enough you simply change the default permissions to the desired level right click change sharing permissions and here's the default as soon as you change this default every new user who comes on board receives inherits if you will this set of permissions much like it is set to none now but if I made it reviewer where the reviewer can see full details but not delete items make the folders visible I can make the default publishing author now any new individual who subscribes and comes on board can create create subfolders edit their own information and delete their own items and of course read full details so supposing I add a third person Kendall to my permissions you'll notice that he comes up as publishing author because he inherited the default and again I advise you be careful what you assign for this process finally if you wish to remove permissions from someone you bring them up again in the permissions wizard and click on remove bye bye so there you have it now you've seen how to share your contacts with anyone else in your hosted exchange account check out other hosted exchange videos by clicking on the return to videos link below and also if you'd like to get complete outlook training click on over to the software magician.com forward slash outlook 2007 page I'm Paul Wagner and this is DNA mail you're evolved shouldn't your email